the e-reader capable e-ink headset from Soul Reader will soon be available. Brad Lynch displayed the e-ink headset prototype on YouTube. It is a portable head-mounted device that reads e-books, smartwatches, smartphones, tablets, desktops, and monitors all employ e-ink screens. But the Soul Reader goes one step further by putting one into a VR headset. The most common applications for e-ink displays are e-readers, which makes sense, given that reading books or papers doesn't require a color display with a fast refresh rate. E-ink displays, however, have been used in other goods in order to benefit from its low power usage. Although the Soul Reader resembles a pair of smart glasses, it is really just an e-reader with a new design. Brad Lynch of the Sadly It's Bradley YouTube channel, who was able to test the device, claims that it weighs less than 100 grams, making it relatively lightweight. The lack of cameras, sensors, or head strap carrying batteries allowed the manufacturer to accomplish this weight. The gadget itself has a matte black finish and is developed like an oversized pair of sunglasses. The most appropriate and comfortable position to use the Soul Reader is sitting or lying down because it lacks a strap to keep it in place like a VR headset like the MetaQuest 2. The device shouldn't press down on one's face because it is lightweight. A wireless controller for turning the pages of a book or document is provided with the headset. Two pancake lens ink screens are featured on the Soul Reader. To fine-tune viewing, it also incorporates styles for IPD and diopter adjustment. Users cannot listen to audiobooks because the speaker is not mentioned. However, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are present. The battery life of VR headsets like the MetaQuest Pro and the Pico 4 is only 2 to 3 hours, whereas the Soul Reader's battery life is up to 30 hours. The lengthy battery life is a result of the low-power ink display. Users will be able to utilize a USB-C port to charge the Soul Reader when it is low on battery. Pancake lenses with interpupillary distance sliders are available for the e-reader. You can adjust the headset to make text visible thanks to its diopter settings. With a wide range of cutting-edge features, headsets have continued to develop. In games, appearance, the workplace, and other applications, several headgear provide immersive virtual or augmented reality. Customers who are interested in a wearable e-ink display are the target market for the headset. However, the device can offer more functionality and a better display. Soul is a tiny business that caters to a specific market, thus it cannot benefit from mass production to reduce costs. Soul can't defer some of the expense to a subscription service, because it doesn't appear to be offering an e-book service similar to Amazon's Kindle Unlimited or Prime Reading. The Soul Reader earns merits for being a unique e-reader, while being pricey. Lynch claims that the e-reader costs $350 at retail, and has a low-resolution display. In further generations, higher pixels could be added to solve the low-resolution problem. The $350 price tag's competitiveness is still up in the air. We anticipate Soul Reader will launch its product in a small amount and monitor consumer reaction. What do you think about the new VR headset? Write your opinion in the comments. Have a nice day and see you soon.